Hello, my friends. Healthy eating made easy. That's what we're talking about today. If you've been struggling to lose weight, if you've been struggling with the belly fat, if you've been losing weight and gaining it back, you cannot sustain your healthy eating. Let's break things down because the information is everywhere. And if you're like me, I get confused so easily. <laughs> So today I'm going to go over just a few things that you can do to really make it easier for you. Most of the things that I'll tell you, you already know, but we need to take action because action changes things. Only action will change things. So today I'll be talking about one thing, which would be your nutrition only. Of course, there's so many other factors that help you to lose the weight, to lose the belly fat and stay healthy, but let's boil it down to nutrition only. So when we think about eating healthy or eating in a way to lose weight, I made a mistake of thinking about a plan and then sticking to that plan that somebody gave me. And it made it so hard. I was restricted. It was just hard for me to follow everything. So I want you to think about there is no one size that fits all. The one place for you to start to take action today is to make a decision to eat lightly processed foods. So it comes from the source directly to your plate. Of course, there will be some light processing there. So when we talk about beef, for example, of course, it's processed slightly to get to your plate, but we want to avoid the ultra processed foods. If you want to lose belly fat, you want to lose weight, that's your number one, is to learn to eat unprocessed foods. Why do I say learn? Because our taste buds have been changed over time to where our taste buds have been trained to give our brains a pleasurable sensation so that we seek a certain kind of food over and over and over. And those foods are going to impact our health and impact our weight as well. So things, some of these things are not even foods. If you look at things like Cheetos, it has no nutrition value. Some of it is not even food. If you look at things like rice pudding, some of it has so many things that are added to it that are not good for you. So it's important to just eat rice. Just take rice instead of eating rice pudding. Just eat beef or pork or chicken or fish as opposed to eating, say, a beef enchilada. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The foods that you want to eat, number one, without counting calories, without even thinking about too many portions and things like that, is to just make a decision to eat the food in its natural state as much as possible. So let's become a little bit more practical with that. When I go to the grocery store, I'm thinking about turkey or chicken or shrimp or fish proteins first. That's the number one. And to be more practical, to make my life easier so I can keep up with what I'm eating and I can prep it in a way that I can do this over and over is to take one thing and prep it in a way that you can eat the same thing several times. So if I'm going to buy some ground turkey, which is my most favorite thing to eat when it comes to protein, lean ground turkey, I take a pound of turkey and I'll prep the whole thing. There's no need for me to prep just one fourth of it because one fourth of it is a, is a portion. I'll prep the whole thing and I know that I'm going to eat that four times. Make it a habit of prepping the things that you like in batches so you can have some now and some for later on. The next thing I think about is prepping food for three days in a row. I had to move away from telling myself I want a lot of variety because I'm 56 now. I am postmenopausal, so my hormones react in different ways to different foods. So if you have too much variability in what you're eating from morning to night and from day to day to day, your body may be responding here, there, and everywhere. To decrease that variability, especially if you are a female in menopause, prep the foods that you like in a healthy way and eat exactly the same thing for three days and see if that 
feels good, if it tastes okay, if you can stick with it for longer. For me, I have that three day, but for some people, they can eat the same things for seven days. Whatever works for you. I say that because being prepared and having your meals ready is critical. So if I'm going to prep food every day, so now that automatically takes me out. I don't have the time. So I have to be able to meal prep everything, all my meals and snacks. If I want, I need to be able to prep them myself enough for several days. So I just batch prep and I have those on hand. The next thing that I'll tell you is when you prep and eat the same things, your body is not fluctuating too much. And it's easier for you to keep up with. And you save money that way. I hear so many people telling me eating healthy is expensive. Yes, it depends on how you look at it. It's more expensive for you to buy food that's already prepped by someone. And then you don't even know what's in it. However, if I go to buy a good quality beef, yes, one pound could be $15, $20, but I'm eating that four times. You who went to eat out there, you went to a restaurant and had one meal for $20. So you want to really, really invest in your health and get used to prepping your own foods. And if you prep them for several days, it takes away the burden of prepping too many things and too frequently. The next thing that I do routinely, especially when it comes to my vegetables, is I let the grocery store do some of the prep for me. <laughs> I'm not very good at bringing all the vegetables, chop, chop, chop. Now, if you can chop your vegetables, yes, you do you. Do what is really convenient for you. But I like to go to the fresh and frozen section for my veggies. I like to go to the fresh section where the veggies are already chopped. So when I come home, I can easily just prep, cook those, and they are all done. So that's what I do for my vegetables. I prep, I buy the ones that are already chopped, and I cook them. All right. Let's look at those two macronutrients or those two foods in a little bit more detail. Start by thinking about the proteins that you like. I hope that as you're watching, you're going to start the belly fat loss, seven day belly fat loss challenge. You're going to start tomorrow. So start by thinking about two or three proteins that you like. Check in your pantry, check in your refrigerator. Do you have this? If you don't, go to the grocery store and get what you need just enough to eat for three days. And then the next thing that you want to do is think about three or four vegetables that you like. I personally, I just pick one because it's so easy for me to take the big packet of vegetables, prep it, and that's what I'm going to have for three days. Then you want to think about your breakfast things. Of course, we need to have the breakfast ready because when I'm ready to eat, I want my food here. Otherwise, it leaves me open to think about other things which may not be as healthy. So I prep everything. Breakfast, all my meals and snacks if I want, I always prep those and have those ready. Enough for three days. The reason why I also say three days is tracking and keeping up with them is so much easier for me. All right. The next thing that I want you to think about also is some healthy fats. So healthy fats, fats are healthy. Yes. And for me to make it really simple, I tell myself I use two tablespoons of olive oil when I'm prepping all my meals for the whole day. Why? Because I eat eggs. Eggs have healthy fats. Yes, they do. And I eat salmon and beef. Yes, those have healthy fats as well. The vegetables that I prep, I've moved away from putting, spraying olive, um, olive oil on the bottom of the pan or pouring oil on the bottom of the pan to saute my veggies. Most veg veggies come with natural water. So if you just put your veggies in the pot, cover it, they would steam themselves or you can just season it and throw it in the oven it would also cook that way and limit the amount of oil that you use to prep your food because sometimes you know <laughs> that can get away from us and then we just end up using too much it's important for you to vet to measure so i would prep my veggies without any oil and i add 
when I'm about to eat. You know, make a little dressing, make a little vinaigrette, whatever it is, and put that on the food so I know how much oil you need, the healthy fats, but you need to know how much you're eating. But going back to simplicity, if you focus on eating healthy, unprocessed foods, chances are you're not going to be overeating. The foods that are highly processed, those, some of those are not foods and actually those are created for high palatability and high marketability, if that's even a word, because they're made to trigger our taste buds alter our taste buds and send happy sensations to our brain so we spend quite a lot of time seeking those same foods that are unhealthy for us and are not nutritious for us at all some of them don't have any nutrition value to them however we are quote unquote addicted to them so we seek them all the time once you start eating unprocessed foods like chicken breast that is prepared in a healthy way you will notice that now all of a sudden you start thinking that the chicken breast is too much sometimes i put a meal plan on there and some people say it's too much however when you calculate the whole thing it's about 1700 calories Meanwhile, you could you easily can go to McDonald's and get one meal and a drink, and that's already also 1,700 calories. So be, be very, very careful about what you eat. Quality over quantity. Think about nourishing your body with healthy, quality foods because your body is precious. You only have one place to live in just this one place. If you keep putting junk in it, then all of a sudden your body is going to get to a point where it can't keep up. Liver has problems, kidney has problems, the heart has problems, the brain has problems. Everything becomes a problem and you're wondering what's going on. I'm a good citizen. Why is my body not healthy? It's because of all the things that you put in it, even when you're not thinking. So tomorrow when we start, I want you to be ready. Please be ready. It's only seven days. Make a decision today. Yes, you can stay seven days without eating unprocessed foods. Yes, you can. I know you can. I've done this myself. It's not easy. If you think that you're going to lose belly fat and you're going to lose some body fat because you cannot lose weight from a specific part of your body. See, you got to lose total body fat for the weight to come off your belly as well. So if you think that it's just going to be easy and you're not going to struggle a little bit, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> There is a little bit of struggle. There is a little bit of difficulty. But the good news is you get used to it. Do the same few things over and over and over and over. And then you build this up as a habit. So that's really what I wanted to tell you for nutrition. Pick your protein. That's the first thing that goes on your plate protein. You may ask me how much. Very, very easy formula for you to use is 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, assuming you're eating three times a day. Very, very easy. Anytime you go to eat anything, even a snack, if it doesn't have enough protein in it, skip it and go look for something that has protein. Examples of snacks. I can have a boiled egg, that's a good snack. I can have some cottage cheese. That's a good snack. I can have yogurt and fruit. That's a good snack. I mean, I can even eat a little bit of cheese, hummus, edamame. All these things are snacks that have protein. Once you start thinking, hmm, I got to have muffin. I got to have some um, baked lays. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. So make sure your snacks, also your snacks, have some protein in in them so i hope this information helped you and just to summarize make your eating simple go for proteins first don't go for a huge variety go for a small variety just pick two or three ones that you're going to eat for two three days at a time and then after that change and make more food for the next three days all right simple things for those of you who don't like to cook i respect that not everybody wants to be in the kitchen not everybody has the time but listen if it's if it's important for you you're going to make the time if it's important for you you're going to make the time otherwise your body will stop you and say listen you got to pay me some attention now you are sick and you got you are gonna have some time you see now somebody ends up with a stroke because they were too busy didn't take time to eat right they were so busy now you're a stroke and somebody else 
is feeding you even with things that you don't like but they're feeding you anyway and needed to prevent that take some time for yourself to prepare your food because your body is important it is this important your body first and everything after that be careful with what you eat all right for those of you who don't like to meal prep listen they have some i'm not affiliated with anybody so i don't even know the names i'm not gonna throw any out there but they do have some companies that have fresh foods packaged in a way that you can just hit up but i'm telling you the real beauty is in learning how to prep your own food even just one thing always start small don't try to come with a huge overhaul and say hey i'm going to start today i'm going to take my previous life and throw it out the window and i'm going to start a new life put it here and this is where i don't do that i mean your body is going to come against you it's going to say hey what are you doing i'm not not going to be able to do this after two, two three days you give up don't do that start somewhere if you were somebody who was waking up every single morning and going through the drive through and getting the 500 calorie coffee and another 500 calorie breakfast here's the time where you say hmm listen let me start by changing my breakfast just my breakfast everything else stays the same you're gonna be just fine that's a good change if you were somebody who was eating dinner out every single night tell yourself hey listen i'm going to eat during the week i'm going to eat my own home cooked dinner and for weekends yes i'm going to go out and eat dinner with my family with the husband and lastly everything when it comes to eating healthy losing weight losing belly fat there is no 100%. There is no 100%. Listen, if you're shooting for 100% perfection because she says, I'm going to eat proteins and I'm going to be 100% perfect, then that's how you start to set yourself up for failure because we're not little Jesus Christes. So that was the only person that was perfect. I'm not. So I say 80% accuracy is okay. That gives you room for other things. And if you say, hmm, I did not intend to to eat this but i did anyway don't beat yourself down don't throw your whole journey away because this is a journey for a lifetime you are permitted to make a few what you call mistakes i don't call those mistakes i say those are part of life i just don't want them to be more than 20 percent that allows me right now i as you can tell i'm sitting in a hotel room that allows me to go and visit family and eat some of the african foods that that one was super delicious and i'm not going to regret it because it was just one meal and i am a-okay with that i'll come back and get back to my healthy meals no no i'm not going to starve myself because i ate too much of whatever i ate yesterday yes i did it <laughs> A little bit more than i wanted to and it was delicious going down and it was so happy in my belly but i'm going to come back and get back on my healthy meals i am not going to do a detox i am not going to do a cleanse it's unnecessary and i am not going to starve myself either by drinking just water for the next day all i'm going to do is get back on my healthy meals and continue from where i left off for that one meal okay so you are allowed to eat one meal that is off plan Whatever you want, eat that so you're comfortably full and that's it. Yes, may I'm Mexican food, whatever it is for you is okay. All right. So I hope these tips help helped you. Tomorrow, 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 we start on the seven day belly fat loss. When I say belly fat loss, it simply means you're going to be losing body fat, total body fat, and some from the belly as well. All right, my friends, that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So go to YouTube and follow me as well because that's where the video is going to be saved permanently. I hope you have a fantastic day. And go and get ready with your meals for tomorrow. All right, bye.